So you like it? <laughs> awesome. So this is, uh, this is really exciting for us tonight. Um, one thing you have to realize, this is not a concept car. This is our alpha car. This is our alpha prototype. This is a uh, produ production representative of what we absolutely intend to build at the end of 2018. So I'm going to take a few minutes to, to run through a little bit um, how we view the design of this vehicle and kind of the approach that we've taken. Um, it starts with uh, uh, basic um, prioritization of, of proportion, surface, and what I call graphics. Now Peter talked a lot about the executive jet and I think we, we took this uh, quite literal. Um, this idea of a very long, sleek cabin, very elongated car, where the majority of the proportion of the vehicle, much like an aircraft, is dedicated to the occupants. Very sleek, um, effortless, effortlessly, excuse me, effortlessly fast, very flush, very minimalist. Um, we wanted that feeling of, of the executive jet. And of course, that starts with the proportion of the vehicle. First thing you'll notice, an incredibly long cabin um, and a very short front end. And the reason for that is there's no V8 uh, transmission or any of that up front. Um, we have our motors, as Peter pointed out, spread out throughout the vehicle. So we are able to take that space back from the internal combustion motor and give that space to the interior of the car. And that's really fundamental and game changing to, to the overall proportion. We have this very unique silhouette with the A pillar through the D post, all aluminum finish, again, inspired by aircraft. And then lastly, a very clean, minimalist body side to keep this very consequent and focused. Um, next is the surfacing of the car. We wanted to keep the car very clean. I didn't want to have a lot of changes in the body side and a bunch, a bunch of lines, which is very current in automotive design today. We wanted to get back to just simple, pure sculpting, try to bring in some traditional automotive beauty, but do it in a way that's quite minimalist and pure and still has a technical edge to it. Next is the face of the car. Now this is really in my opinion, how people really identify with the vehicle, and that's through the face. And the first thing you'll notice is it's completely different than an internal combustion car. Gone is the large vertical radiator. Um, this is really, from our point of view, a symbol of the past. The vertical radiator is really something that's been around for well over 100 years, and that's not necessary with an electric vehicle. The second big thing is the lighting. So we, with the lighting and the cooling, this is absolutely driven by cutting edge technology. And Peter, please, if you could for a second, explain some of the background with the lighting and cooling. Yes, certainly, Derek. We've made a breakthrough with our lighting technology through our in-house uh, lighting uh, technology team. And we've created lights which are truly breakthrough in terms of their size and their functionality. Um, a conventional headlight is inspired by human eye, and really the face, face of the car is replicating the human face with each headlamp being a single lens. We've drawn our inspiration instead of from humans, but rather from insects. We're familiar with insects having thousands of lenses, micro lenses. And we have here in each lamp 4,870 micro lenses. That's per side. So instead of having two lenses, we have nearly 10,000. And one of the key advantages of that is that each lens can have a discrete focal length. So we can actually tailor the three-dimensional, not just a beam of light, but a three-dimensional field of light. And this will have profound uh, impact upon safety for the vehicle and, 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 and feedback for the driver. And so in each of these 10 pockets, which are just three quarters of an inch tall, 19 millimeters, we have 487 micro lenses. Now we make those uh, in a process um, which is a, a, a tray technique, similar to making a wafer tray technique, similar to the way that silicon chips are made. And we've developed all the mathematics, the optical mathematics, and the programming and the logic behind this in-house and patented. We call this lucid vision. Now moving on, um, another part that defines the face is this air intake here, which is really uh, 
minuscule in terms of its air intake area. And what we've done is we've created a very innovative intake system which creates dual vortices of air through the nodes to, to, to um, tailor and contour the air that meets the radiators to get the best spread of air right across the radiators which means that we have more efficiency because the radiators can be smaller for a given level of performance. Now we call this Lucid Vortex and it's a patented technology of ours. Thank you, Peter. Um, additional to that, we have um, our LiDAR radar camera package down below here, and then we have our front charge port uh, that also adds to the face signature of the vehicle. And of course, around the rear of the vehicle, we continue that same linear minimalist uh, signature through our LED light blade, as well as our um, autonomous uh, feature mount down below. Now, the interior. Um, as you can imagine, uh, this car is really designed from the inside out. The packaging in this car, the packaging in the interior, the occup occupant space has been the priority. And so the interior um, was really, really a special, special project on its own. It starts with the LCD screen array across the top. This is actually three individual screens under one piece of seamless touch glass. And then in the center console, we have an additional 12.3 inch LCD screen that retracts back into the dash to expose a two tiered storage system through the center console. And then of course those seats. This is absolutely incredible. You have, after this you have to come up and take a look. Full on first class uh, rear seat configuration. Absolutely unbelievable. And of course we will have an optional uh, bench seat, standard bench seat. But this still has an amazing amount of space and legroom. Um, it's incredible comfort. You'll also be able to experience the bench seat in the other model um, in the small room to the right here. And of course, we'll have a full suite of rear seat entertainment and rear seat convenience uh, packages. It's all done with this glass canopy concept. And this is really key because Obviously, that looks great from outside the car, but once you're inside, it's even more amazing and adds to the whole Lucid experience. So speaking of experience, um, UX was a huge, huge uh, priority for us. Um, this is something where we wanted to really uh, create kind of maximum capability with minimal effort. In short, a really seamless technology experience so your time spent in the vehicle is, is time well spent, and that's really key because so often, I know I'm a, a serial commuter, um, the, this time is wasted, and we want to make the most out of that. So we do that through a connected, natural, and adaptive experience. The connected component is the idea that when you're not with your car, you're obviously connected through your app, you can configure the car, you can prepare the car, you can summon the car. Uh, once you're in the vehicle, of course, you're connected to the outside world, um, streaming content, uploading, downloading content, and of course just staying connected to the world around you. Next is natural. Now I'm sure some of you ex have experienced uh, command base uh, voice activation in uh, today's cars, and I'm not a fan. Typically this doesn't work very well, but what we're talking about is a totally natural experience. Um, just when, when you want the car to do something, how long does it take to get to the airport? play Led Zeppelin, whatever. It just does it. Um, much more in tune with the experience you would have with, with Siri or Amazon Echo. Nobody's done this in the car yet today, and, and we think it would be absolutely groundbreaking because it's those little things that you do on your phone, and you're all, you all do it. I know that. It's, those are the things that get you in trouble out on the road. Lastly is adaptive. Um, this is the idea that the car knows your schedule, it knows your routine, it knows when you need to be at the next meeting, and it adapts to your daily routine, whether it's yours or somebody else's profile like your spouse, it, it knows you. All of this is done in a cockpit that has been designed from day one for both manual driving as well as autonomous driving, and that's really key because that changes directly upon us. Lastly, audio. Silent vehicle, silent drivetrain. We wanted to make absolute most out of the audio experience. 29 speakers 
throughout the interior, seamlessly integrated. So none of these boombox speaker grills everywhere. They're all hidden away seamlessly, meant to be heard and not seen. And 12 beam forming microphones. So no matter where you're sitting in your lucid air, it can, it can pick up your voice and uh, react accordingly. Next is our color and material of finishes. This is a premium vehicle. We see it as a luxury vehicle. So the materials and how it's executed has to be sophisticated and ultra high quality. We see this um, sense of natural, authentic, and a fusion of materials, man-made materials and natural materials to create an iconic premium environment. But what's really exciting about this is all the different trim packages we're offering have been inspired by different locations around the state of California, starting with Mojave, Mojave at midnight, pitch black, different tones of black. This would be my personal favorite. So you have this really rich, dark, dark wood, dark leather, um, just beautiful. Santa Monica, Santa Monica in the early morning with the ocean fog, everything's whitewashed, everything's uniform in color, very light, very uh, airy, very lucid. Santa Cruz is more saturated with that warm California sunlight, just beautiful. And then of course, Tahoe. Now these themes, um, if you have some time later on, please go back to the Lucid Lounge. We have three virtual reality um, goggle stations set up and you can go into an immersive environment, sit in the vehicle in a virtual space and experience exactly what these different trim packages would look like and feel like. So, Lucid Air. And, and everybody, uh, I, I'm so cognizant that Derek and I are fronting three, the, the work of 300 uh, very talented people. And I just want to say thanks to all of them. And also the sheer level of collaboration uh, between design and engineering that we've enjoyed. We've had a blast. <laughs> and we're having a blast. And I think that is truly represented and reflected in the stature and caliber of this product. Thank you, Derek. It's been Thank a pleasure. You, Peter. Absolutely.